Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to game two of New Element Esport Club. It does have esport in it. Get corrected. I'm a fool. Chinese team having English words. What do you know about that? I don't know a whole lot about Chinese teams. Chinese Dota. Apparently not. I'm a fraud. You're a fraud. You call 180 or uh, 1080. It was uh, 1018. And it was a 1218. You, you said it was like I was way too off though. I, if I got an answer from you, it would have been like yeah. around 800. No, you're off by like 60 something. That's way too off. Not up to my Asian standards. Tom Fu's going to be on the entire of this lineup here. And uh, Tom Fu's going to play standard Dota. That's something that we are expecting out of them. If you want to try for some crazy strat, I think all of us will be happy to see. But, but that game wasn't. I mean, it was standard, but at the same time, it was. It was nice different. It was yeah, like yeah. A, I mean, you have a Storm, Timbersaw, Morphling as your your three core heroes. Like I'm, I'm happy to see that most days of the week. Yeah, but again, and going back to my to point go. previously at the end of game one, New Element needs to basically go for it. standard Five laning seconds. and try to win their laning stage and then go from there. Dark is a great way to do that. Have they, it, it's good laning, it's team fight, it's early game, mid game, late game. Get a Puck solo mid and then get a tri lane with like a life steal. Well, no life steal because it's bam, but get a tri lane with strong supports, supports that can gank as well as just be aggressive, and I feel like pretty good. Well, never mind. I go for the Wisp. I think the big thing last game was they had a Wisp Weaver Coddle, which was just a. And a surprisingly, bit it was able to get up like a couple of kills against a hero that we did not expect to happen. So. I'm not sure whether that was the trialing playing well or XCT playing perhaps a little bit overextending a bit. They got a couple go. kills, but I still feel they lost that lane just because of how much farm and experience Timbersaw got. Even though he died, yes. he got such fast arcane boots, he got a ton of experience, he was level 5, level 6 when Prophet was still Reserve level 2, level 3, so I feel like even though they got those kills, it was like too late, they'd already lost the lane. Yeah, so I'm, I'm not sure how Darkster and Wisp kind of combo with each other, I guess. You can make ganking a little bit easier with things like Surge as well as Iron Shell. Uh, but at the same time, I, I'm not sure what this lineup is trying to do. Are they going to try to gear towards having better lanes, which Wisp doesn't really try to do. Team fight wise Wisp doesn't give you too much. Ganking wise Darkstar is not too good. So we'll see what exactly el new elements is trying to draft up. On the other side, Standard Heroes, Visage, Weaver, hard to kill in lane. And that seems to be the trend for Town for Heroes, just pick heroes that are hard to kill. Yeah, immediate CK ban. Tong Fu just not wanting to give them the ban. easy Wisp, Wisp CK option. And mm -hmm. I, where do you think they should be looking for as far as Wisp partners go? They're not going to have the Weaver, Dyer's which I think is not really a Wisp partner to begin with. But do you think they need to be picking up something fast which can combo with the Wisp? I think judging from how they picked in last game, they didn't really said we are going to go Wisp CK. Uh, they seem to went for like a ganking combo. So I, w I wouldn't be surprised if we see Dyer's more of a ganking oriented kind of semi-carry. I think Tiny might not be too bad if you, even if you uh, get more of the carry or into Tiny. Like, he could just one-shot here like Weaver. He could one-shot sure here like Visage, time. especially with the Avalanche taking out a, a part of that Great Puber Cloak. And, and Tom Fu's thinking of Dyer's something similar. Dead. They are banning out more traditional Wisp partners, despite the fact that there was no Wisp partner being selected in Game 1. Yeah, I think Sven would actually been a, a nice little backup choice when you don't have the CK to go with Wisp, but for now, we will see Tongfu need to grab their third pick. We've seen some a, a, a sort of aggressive solos with the Storm Spirit. The, the Morphling was last pick last game, so not something they ne necessarily need to be picking up again here, but the Chinese teams generally like to go more sort of safe lane farming weaver. They don't go. often do the off lane solo weaver, I feel. Yeah, I think Weaver is one of those heroes that takes such a long time to get off the ground that if you give him an offlane Weaver and perhaps he doesn't have farm for the first 10-15 minutes because, let's say, you're dealing against a very good tri lane, you're not going to get anything done in the game in terms of damage output. At the same time, this is a game you're going against Wisp, which is pretty much a free lane. I mean, what is Wisp going to do? Tether and stun you for a half a second? Like, you, you should be okay yeah. in that... Department. We'll see. I guess, yeah, it also does depend a little bit what those other two heroes might be, but uh, we see Nyx Assassin grab by Tong Fu, and uh, I hear that any hacks he had last game. And this is something which I think Tong Fu more likely to play in that 4 posi four five position as a support. Mm -hmm. uh, Nyx and Visage both kind of 4 position heroes, but I don't think it's really too greedy to get both of them at the same time. Yeah, I think Nyx Assassin actually is really good in this lineup, considering that Dark Series. You get a modern burn on him, he is not going to be casting every one of his spells, plus that mech of activation in teamfight. So I feel this is a fairly good draft. Um, it also kind of ties things over if el new elements decide to pick a couple of more uh, kind of sun immune seconds. heroes, like your Storm Sphere or whatever. You, you need some kind of legit lockdown from your supports, and you get it through a Nyx Reserve Assassin. Time. Also, it really frees up their laning. Nyx Assassin could be their solo mid. We saw any do that last game, and Tong Fu definitely could do it themselves as well. Yep, as uh, we'll have the third pick coming out from NE now, New Elements, Esports Club. 
They even have a club in there. Yeah. It is, they're legit, man. They're legit. I, I'm seeing four English words right now. I don't yeah, even know what you're true. trying to say. Uh, actually, I, I'm, I'm, one of them is going to Chinese nickname, so. That's true. <laughs> okay. Tiger. Tiger. Bounty. Yeah, Bounty Hunter. So this is, uh. Well, where does Dax fit in? Is, is potential solo mid? Solo mid. Not bad. Jungle, perhaps. I feel like this is going to be weak links, though. Yeah, we Greek said they links, can't go for. Ganks. You know, Bounty Hunter off lane. Yeah, they can't just play this ganking style where they have really weak lanes. A lackluster team fight and bounty hunter wisp. This is lackluster team fight. Yeah, but I think different from how game one won, where you got kills like XCT died a couple Radiant times, but it just didn't matter. Yep. In this game, bounty hunter makes things matter a little bit more. When you have track kills, Ooh. and there you go, pop That's team fight. So this is this is your absolute kind of hit and run kind of lineup. You grab a couple kills. You maybe forfeit a couple of your early towers, but you just get rich. How does track. bounty hunter carry pan out? Tried in pups. Yeah. Works in pubs. You don't go Battle Fury. Whatever you do, Fury. guys, never go Battle Fury on Bounty Hunter. Unless you're down Mega Creeps and Five need to cleave seconds. or something, and it's like 60 uh, minutes in, maybe. But never go Battle Fury first on Bounty Hunter. Man. Why not? They had an ass on Bounty Hunter. I don't know, man. Have you ever Janata out of a bounty, very Battle Fury Strike? It's, it's you know deeps. that If you want deeps, just get Deso. Yeah, Deso is more deeps, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Well, they they're both deep. Death is a lot more. I can guarantee you that there won't be a bounty hunter battle for this game. Five seconds. Yeah. Okay. Well, I I think that's actually with bounty hunter. I mean, it's not like like a, a fantastic Reserve combo, time. but I think it's actually pretty solid here. It's actually really good. I think if they do jungle darks here, they're gonna just have weak lanes, and Tongfu will punish it too bad. But I think doing a bounty hunter wisp with one more support, or maybe a, a like a support jungle like a Chen or something, would actually be quite strong here. Yeah, I mean. Every time I see this lineup, like a Wisp Bounty, I just think it's so greedy because you, you just basically forfeit the lane. You tell Tom Fu, you guys could have whatever the hell you want in the laning stage. And we've seen teams in the past done that, and it worked out. Fnatic EU being kind of the biggest, uh, I guess, team that do do something like this, where they go Wisp Bounty, get a CK, get a Storm, and like <laughs> you just die anywhere on the map. So. Well, we'll see if uh, any could kind of pull Damn off the similar aggression that Fnatic EU, for example, have done in the past. Meanwhile, if you should look at Tom Fu's CK, seconds. Sven, and Tiny being banned up, they're definitely afraid of Wisp partners. Yeah, they, they may be anticipating a Daxian jungle Reserve here. And that's something where they can could go for an offensive trial if they wanted. They've got a Weaver, Visage, they can just get plus one for that trial and may, maybe send the Nyx Assassin mid with Queen of Pain safe lane, or even put Nyx Assassin in an aggressive trial lane. If they see any pick up, well, I guess they have to pick first, so they're going to have to decide what they, well, they can be flexible with the length, but if they see any pick up another solo hero or a carry hero here, they can just punish the, the weak lanes. I think probably the best hero to pick up here for any is maybe Gyrocopter. It, it seems very awkward, kind of, it doesn't fit well with Bounty, Puck, and Wisp, but you need something to tie you over, and wow! Here we go, we talked about something new, something different. Once a lot, oh -ho! Okay. Nice. What are the lanes? What are the roles? I have no no clue. Zoe's I gonna be playing your one row pugna. I think it's a four well like four four position spirit breaker maybe. Standard, yeah. Alternatively, you go with the dark Sea jungle. You do bounty hunter off lane and a wisp spirit breaker dual lane. But it, oh, that's that's something which is just so easily punished. Well, spirit Better breaker, he's going carry. Dark is going to be going jungle, and if Tongfu anticipate this, they can just send a trial lane bottom, and well, we straight up win the game, and they're doing just that, I think. Joey's got a bunch of branches, going to be going for a Bassy Ring, and he's headed bottom. He's not going to be an off lane. He's going to be a tri lane. Visage, Nyx, Pugna. What are your thoughts on this tri lane? <laughs> what does gonna... this tri lane do? It beats with Spirit Breaker. That's what it does. <laughs> well, I mean, you, you, I don't know. you sneeze on this particular any tri lane, and it just dies. So I guess, yeah, sure. You can put techies in this tri lane on Tong Fu, and it'll work against any. Well,. Hold that thought. What Arjun would Iron Shell and you tether stun and then you surge the ZZZ Spirit Breaker afterwards? What yeah. happens then? I'm not sure, Lumi. Dota 2 explodes. I, Turns I, into Half Life 3. I mean, if you look about it, there's three ranged heroes, or you know, there's three heroes over here. Nyx Assassin, not really ranged. Yeah. But he doesn't have really high base damage. In fact, they don't really have good base damage overall. And Spirit Breaker, last time I checked, and I will check it right now again, five base armor. 
All right. He's well. got like a thousand effective HP. Yeah, he's super tanky and hard to bring down. Wisp is the one who's going to just have to sit very far back. But this is almost like Alliance game. It reminds me when they did that Wisp Wisp uh, PA game against a tri lane, and they would try to go on like the PA or something, and it was just, just like you can't kill him, and they can't get to the Wisp because EGM would just position himself so well far back with the Wisp. So the only hero you can go is on is the PA who gets kept alive by the Wisp. So yeah. it's a similar thing with Spirit Breaker. I really like this as well. Dark is going to actually just abandon the bot dueling. Says, you know what, let's just go up top and get some farm as well. Nice pause here. It's going to give us the time to introduce our player. Any on the Radiant side this time, it's going to be a must-win situation for them as they're down one game in this best of three series. Will is going to be playing Dark Seer. Last time he was on support, Shiki is going to be playing the mid as Puck. Last time, really good Nyx Assassin play. Uh, wasn't able to get off too many early game ganks, but Kind of tied it back together in the mid game. ZZZ, your carry player, playing the Spirit Breaker. Shauna playing Wisp. Last but not least, on the top lane, we're going to have uh, uh, Tiger playing a uh, Bounty Hunter up top. Well, for the Tongfu side, the more well known name here, the Big Porridge Company, we have got uh, ZSMJ, the former LGD famous carry player, and also former of Vici Gaming. He's playing Nyx Assassin. Sancheng on the Visage. We've got Zhou on an offensive tri lane. Pugna. We're going to see the solo mid being played by Mu on Queen of Pain. And then finally, top lane, it's XCT playing Weaver. You know, it's always good to cast with a fellow Chinese fanatic as we see in Kel. Uh, a couple of nukes being dropped on XCC, you know, 720 base HP. Mm -hmm. He really drops down the half, says, you have HP, but we have nukes as well. Well, mana for HP regen, I feel like this is actually an okay trade for any to begin with. I'm not sure. Like, these guys all have very, very high mana pool. Uh, I, when I say that, I mean Zoe. Yeah, he's going to have a very fast Bastard Ring, so they can start getting that uh, yeah. mana region or up as well. I You mentioned you think it's good Dax to go to the, uh, the offensive jungle. I feel he should have almost stayed def stayed in the Radiant jungle, got a fast level 3, and then helped out this tri lane. I mean, I don't know, I don't know how much you're going to help out, because we saw how much burst damage that they're going to have, and uh, if, even if ZZZ charges in, he probably will just die to like a second slow assumption, depending what kind of item Tom Free has. For example, if they have Magic Stick, then it's just not going to work out. I think it's more important for Will to get a quick mech, and if you get a quick mech in four position Darkster, it's a little bit greedy, but you know it's gonna work out. Yep, he's uh, in that uh, aggressive jungle, and something he can do is maybe try and just pressure top lane, do some creep skipping, but very unlikely we'll get any sort of a kill on a Weaver here. Weaver doing a, a small little neutral pull just to pull the creep wave back to his tower, give Bounty Hunter some problems, and the Weaver Bounty Hunter one v one matchup, slide edge the Weaver, I guess, early on. Um, it depends on how many levels that Bounty Hunter takes up on Janata. Yesterday we saw Bounty in a 1v1 position, didn't take up Janata. It feels like Bounty and the Chinese seem to be favoring a lot more in terms Ooh. of Shuriken. Sensual gets dropped down here, and perhaps that's going to be the the big deciding factor here, is you know, yeah. XCD being able to harass Tiger a little bit more. Yeah, he can't just rely on using that Shadow Walk to go, to go in to get that Janata damage for free. He's going to get chipped away as he engages, which is... A nice way to play this lane, but Tiger, he's got a big creep wave coming out his tower, so he's just going to try and get some early levels. Should probably go for a poor man's shield, especially with sentry wards in the lane, you're going to get harassed even more, so poor man's shield is going to be essential here. Yeah, Haste and gank up on the melee, not really doing too much. Uh, Shang drawing back our uh, puck uh, from Illusion Who seems to be dominating this lane. This is a fairly skilled matchup lane, uh, and if you look at the CS difference, we have Mu at 12 and 6 uh, with the puck. You know, falling a little bit behind at 7 1. Yeah, I feel like Moon just knows this matchup a bit, a bit better. He's gone straight for the Nell Talisman. Shiki didn't go Nell Talisman. He got like some just Nell Talisman pieces. When you want to go straight Nell Talisman, get pulled some regen, but not the case. Bottom lane, straight pass from onto Sancheng. Uh oh, uh oh, charge? If he gets a charge, and maybe. Is... Yeah, he's oh, he about charge. Him. He's going to get the kill this trialing OP. ZZZ's going to grab the first one. Tether to the right side. He is going to go down to the mono burn, but hey, you get that, that trade. Was close. Done. That was so well executed by ZZZ, he knew he had to stun the Nyx Assassin on the way through, because otherwise yes. the charge gets cancelled. He yes, yes. made it so he hit Nyx Assassin, he couldn't cancel the charge, and then they get the kill. I really like the, the well execution of the first hit bash. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's very well timed, it's the nicely execution. skilled, yeah. Yep. Yeah, nicely done. He had like so many non-bashes on creeps that he knew his next attack would actually be there a bash, so that's when you go in. See the random distribution. Yep. That's, that's some Chinese level calculation. <laughs> He says 12.86, or was it 12.18, I don't know, I don't know what the case is, but uh, ZZZ, able to salvage this particular lane, I guess you could call it. But do you, do you remember back in the older days of like offensive trialing Pugnas? That used to be a thing in Chinese soda, where Pugna has been, yes. yeah, it was was picked as a, you know, kind of your, your three-row ricer in a sense. Yeah, and you go uh, like straight mech and, and like hexes. mech BKB, yeah, hexes, yeah, yeah. Things like that. Well, we are going to see Puck actually get the four-minute room, which he... 
Well, he didn't really need that much. He just needs to deny it from Moo, because Moo is bottled. Puck does not, if he and here comes here. a gank. Yeah, if he uses the orb, he's dead. He's got to make he sure that orb's... Dead. Ooh, the orb there. The Pale not going to hit there. Nice dodge on the right side. No poison yeah. on top, and Queen of Pain obviously already blinked. Second gank on the mid lane, not going to do too much. Bottom line, though, taking a lot of damage on the tower. Yeah, tower. Being annoying. Tower, it's going to be okay. I mean, once CCZ hits level 6, they can make some goals, right? Yeah, he's he's still got so much. He started off with six tangos and a salve. He's still got a tango left. He's got a salve. He's got this magic stick. He's he's doing okay here at bottom lane. He's just so tanky and durable. Yeah, I mean, he's why does he still have the salve? Didn't he just eat like a ton of burst damage earlier in that level? He just tangled tango, it up. Yeah, yeah, he just didn't even pop the salve. So ZZZ is finding some farm under the tower, and uh, once he again, once he hits six, your visage or your Nyx assassin or even Zoe is just flat out dead. Keep in mind that there, there is a uh, Banish or Decryptify coming out from Pugna, so they can perhaps uh, save their ally a little bit longer from the This server. lane's gotten harder all of a sudden. Joe has Arcane Boots, so they can just spam away. Not to mention, these heroes are hitting level Not level 3, level much. 4. So this is where the Soul Assumption is level 2, Impale's level 2. Their burst damage is a lot higher than it was at level 1. Level 1, this trial lane, while strong, it's not really at its peak. This is where... Spirit Breaker can't really go in for last hits, I feel, anymore. I mean, speaking of last hits, he's only got seven. So they got the first blood, but this dual lane bottom against Trilane is not really doing a whole lot. You want back in the mid lane here? Looks like Tiger's going to try to... <laughs> yeah, this is not going to work at this level of game. I mean, Invis Bounty bounty under Windwalk with Iron Shell is always very, very cute in pub games. Not going to work here. Not against Smooth. Uh, or if they want it to work, they need Shiki to have level 6, uh, which he does yeah. not have, unfortunately. Bounty with track, though, he wants to start sort of getting more involved. He should be going to this bottom lane, I yeah, feel. Yeah, seriously. Uh, with Spirit Breaker, so I guess maybe waiting for a level 6 Spirit Breaker, but Pugna, you go straight Arcane Boot, this is one of the lowest, I think, is it the lowest sort of like base strength and strength gain in the game? Oh, Queen of Pain, solo kill on Shiki at mid. Bounty Hunter could get this kill, though. He's yeah, got he's no mana for blink. Track. I mean, a couple more no hits. No wand. E one more hit, Oh, he's man. got one now. And uh, blink. He's actually TP. trying to bait it out. No, charge comes in. Here we go. Here we go. They saw it though. There's a dire ward spotting out the chat. It doesn't matter if you saw it. ZZZ, Z, Z, my camera's on you. You can see that dark. Nyx assassin Spike, with Spike a stun. Pale. He's going to be too slow. He's not going to make it. ZSMJ, nope. you are too slow. One more hit. Execution out of ZZZ. Z, Z. I Damn. mean, he, he clicked charge from bottom lane and then AFK. I, I mean, like the execution. Nice. you call that execution? That, that is execution, by the way. Buyback being forced out here. ZZZ, Z, Z, by the way, has eight magic stick. He's going to. Impale's going to clip. Still has eight magic stick charges. Chat. Five seconds. Five seconds to charge. He's going to charge out. And ZZZ. Z, Z. It's well, gonna be fine. He could get screamed by Where's Mo the on charge? the charge. Where's the charge? Yeah, boom. See ya. Get lovely. Me. Just absolutely lovely. Cancel it now. Oh, man. Yeah. That's exec That was execution. Th that was execution. The, initial, the initial quap kill. Debatable, Luke. No, man. He clicked two button this time. Nice execution. Back in middle lane, Shiki. Silence is gonna have to orb himself back up. Nice Station? dodge and a shadow strike. Man, I mean, patience from ZZZ, not from Zoe. Bounty Hunter, they, here come the track kills. They've gone in bottom uh -oh. lane, they've killed Pugna. He's such a squishy hero, and Visage can't find the Wisp with the last hit. No! Oh, Wisp, why you go back? <laughs> they did get that to that the was, track kill. That was the highest I've ever heard your voice go, Lumi. It, it could go higher. Alright. I mean, I'll uh, get you to do me some Rihanna impressions later on. <laughs> Rendition sessions, we say. Okay, saying. fair enough. First, first Eminem, next Rihanna. And you can see that Spare Breaker thinking about charge. He sees a mid lane. And do they have Dream Call up? You bet they do. Here we go. And of course, you can see a tether of the. Oh, unfortunately, Shana was uh, not going Can't fast keep enough. Up. Yeah. Not good execution coming out here. Oh, there's a tether. Oh, that's going to be break. And we're going to see Ultimate coming out from ZZZ. And bam! Easy execution peasy. time. Nick's going to get a two here in Pale, but this is not really a good place for ZSMJ to be fighting. He hasn't got any points in Carapace yet. Meanwhile, bottom lane, Bounty's gone on Joe once again. And this is the problem for Joe. He's so, so squishy as a Pugna. This is. To me, the squishiest, like, non support hero in the game. Yeah. It, it actually, I guess Weaver may be squishier if you don't type in account, uh, take it into account of Sukuchi and Time Loss, but obviously he does yeah. have so spells. And look at these charge! They're just coming non stop, so it's gonna be dead. We're gonna see a track on top. On, yep, that's one more kill. Wait or, for track. Uh -oh. Track on Sanchin. Yo, wait for Two track. track yep, easy. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Uh, there, just gonna blink back out. Do we have ultimate? TP cancelled even. Yeah. That was Weaver, I believe. You Man, can't mess with Spare Breaker? Man, Bruno was right all along. What What is Bruno, like, not right about? He's he's, he's on his game, man. Well, Bruno's not right about many things. Uh, he's not right about the DK solo mid. He was he was not happy about how teams would pick DK solo mid. Yeah. But he this, was... The Space Cow, man. I've Props to Bruno for this. X, looking at XCT Weave, he's been untouched at top lane. 0-0-0. Zero, zero, zero. 
He's got 35, yeah, 34 whatever. denies. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> like, who care if Weaver is untouched on the top lane? Uh. And ZZZ is touching everybody, like, literally and figuratively. And so, here we go. Back in the mid lane to charge more we go. Moo says, I got blink, guys. And Dream Cole is available. Are we going to see a Dream Cole? Yes, we are. Moo trying to blink back out. You don't blink away from this track on top. Iron Shot right next to it. And killing spree on the Tiger. Well then, game three we go. Because this thing's over. This is the this like reminds me of like IG's like face rush line where they're just ganking all over the map, but even better. This is like the upgraded version of it with bounty hunter. Difficult. Screw Sven and all the movement. You don't need movement speed. Sp Space Cow gets maximum movement speed and more with his charge. Yep. Who's next? Bottom lane. Charges back up. Needs to just get vision of one of these. He's gonna go bottom for this trailer. He just needs vision of one of these heroes. Yeah, and vision they will get very, very soon. As soon as they he's just waiting the fountain. He's like, yeah. There's uh, a warden lane, they don't have they'll spot out he's gonna spot out Queen of Pain. Is he going to charge in? Is he going to go YOLO? Just? Charge it. They know there's three, four heroes bottom though, so I think he knows it's a bit risky. He's oh, just walking five bottom. Heroes, yeah. This what? is what you do against Space Cow, you five man. And I don't know, man. Have you ever seen a Space Cow charge the last year on the end of the team fight? You just get a five man yeah. stun? The I problem is you don't have mech as well on, on the Tongfu side. They, they're going to really struggle to fight without that mech. Well, I, I could say that Will's got a buckler on top of his Dark Sair play, so maybe if they have a successful team fight, they will get a mech. He's just rushing it straight up. Shiki making the rotation to the bot lane does not have a teleport scroll. They're gonna back up and they're gonna smoke. If they do get the smoke off, it's gonna be big. Yeah. Do they have a smoke? No, they don't. They just back up. Do they fight this? Weaver's with oh, his. Here we go. Really Charge cool. onto the last hero at the end of the team fight. Oh, he cancels that one. Nice carapace. You can actually cancel the charge with it if, if, if whether well if someone else is being charged because you take damage when you get run past. He's just gonna strip ultimate. Yeah, maybe. yeah, oh, somebody that's one person's oh, dead. Puck, or on two dream call as well. And Hugh Sonic Wave, that's gonna hit on everybody, but they don't care. Iron Shell, the right clicks, XTZ dropping low, ZZZ barely gonna die. Yeah, he is barely gonna die, but Moose dropping low as well. He's gonna blink to the right. Orbs. And the orbs to the face! Yeah, bam! That's yet another kill. Meanwhile, they see Zo. Zo tracked up and will oh, should have surge in a couple more seconds. He's already got uh oh, relocate from the Will's Shana gonna get the kill. Will's gonna die to the tower here, and I think ZSMJ is not gonna find a kill on Shana. Tether to the right side and would be fine. They gave away the Dark Sear kill, they gave away a uh what you call it, a spare breaker, but they got five. It's totally worth it there. The Dark Sea did the smart thing. He surged himself up. He didn't give away any experience for the kill, and at this point. Tongfu really needs some more oh, levels yeah. and farm on their heroes, and they got nothing out of that. They Darkseer kill is just going to hurt Darkseer. It's not actually benefiting Tongfu. The one hero that did get some gold was uh, the Pugna because he got credited for the kill, but he was already dead, so no XP for him. A bit closer to his mech, but still no mech for Tongfu. 13 kills to 5. A 4,000-ish gold lead going the way of Team New Element Esports Club. Damn. They're looking good. What a player. What a team. And of course, uh, speaking of mech, Darkseer's got his mech. In fact, he got it before he dove uh, and, and died in a previous team fight. So these team fights not looking uh, good at all coming out from Tong Fu. You gotta go back to that draft and Pugna, what does it do? It's meant to win a tri lane, so far not winning it. I think they need items like a Yule Scepter, they need items like Force Staff, anything that stops the charge of the Spare Breaker. First you have to stop the charge, and secondly you have to kill him. They just don't have the damage output. Also they are lacking the crowd control, yes, we see yet another charge down the mid lane. They, that one's gonna get detected. Let's see how well they will be dealing with this thing that they see coming. And I don't think Z oh Z Z Z Yeah, realize <laughs> the bounty hunter running through the tower, the, the space cow. Ooh, ooh, track. There goes Reveal bottom tower. Sorry, revealing himself a bit. They does get okay, the track then will help them push this tower if they want to go for a push. And Joe actually gets a, a solo tower on his own at bottom line, left on alone, which is his mech gold. So he's gonna look to group up, maybe provide this mech, but Tong Fu, even with a mech, it's still so hard to fight. Looking at Mu, he's two and four. Doesn't even have treads yet, it looks like. Maybe there's some treads coming out, but he's 2 and 4. He's used to buyback. He's got absolutely no net worth. Oh, charge. Here we go. ZSM got to turn around. Nice two men impel on top. And Soul Assumption's going to fly through as well. Got to kill the bounty early. Track on half the team of Tong Fu. Tong Fu, by the way, hasted on Mu. He's thinking about going in right now. Where is damage out with ZZZ? Mech back up. Very, very tanky. The Creptify slowing down. What a four man coil on top. Are they going to initiate on this? ZZZ thinking about charge. Cooling down for 14 more seconds. That Dream Code just barely used defensively. Yeah. I think it was a smart dream call anyways. They were gonna, gonna lose Space Cow, it looked like there. The Nyx Assassin stun was coming out. Actually cancelled it using the dream call stun. And, well, and he, they, they need to be careful because their lead can get thrown away very, very quickly with one bad dive. I don't know about that. I feel like they could trade kills all day long because they have tracks. Well, a deep. bad dive where they don't get kills me. Well, like, it looks like Shauna getting caught out a little bit of position. You got a tether back. Here comes a charge through the entire team. Where's the Netter Strike ultimate? There is going to come through. Uh, it looks like he's going to be on Nyx's He's going to be dead. Zoch is going to get clipped down by the huge lantern. 
of the Spirit Breaker. Will's gonna go back out tap. Looks like trade a, trade a two for one. I'm not yep. sure how many track kill was there, but they lost some Wisp, no big deal, and they got at least one or even two track kills on top of that. Pugna was track killed. I don't know if the Nyx Assassin was, but at least one track kill, like you're saying. Well, Moo tracked up. Moo going for he's going super conservative build here. Two null tap, not so much conservative, but like this is like the I'm we're behind. I'm we're kind of screwed. We they're gonna keep on diving us. Mm -hmm. The best early game possible. Two null talismans. Get your treads next, yep. then go for BKB. Back in the middle here, Shiki Blink Dagger, Winnie oh, Rift sets up a kill here on our free farm. Weaver. That's another track kill. Yeah, uh, I mean that's just a track kill up the wild. We were down. still waiting on Volvo to give us a track bonus go counter because on a game like this where you see one team just raining track kills you just gotta ask yourself you, know, you gotta find out how many track bonus go do we have you know i i was actually talking to someone like yesterday and they have developed an app that like gets all the data from dota 2 and they could actually calculate that well coming soon to bts production i mean or you could have God who has the insane 10-year dota veteran nafcraft skills how much track I, gold? I, that's, that's like, doesn't apply. That doesn't, like, you don't need that kind of knowledge. You just know you're getting gold or you're not. It, it's either you're getting gold or you're not. You know if you're screwed or you're not yeah. screwed. Okay. Fair I, it's more like, my, the game sense applies more to, like, is this spell going to kill me or, like, how much damage can they do to me? All right. God's dropping the but, knowledge bombs. Well, or the lack of knowledge bombs. <laughs> Zoe getting uh, tracked this... in the jungle, in a sense. Well, not... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Zoe's dead. Yeah, tracking to be on top. Yeah. There's going to be sure we can top blink silence or pass. And here we go, the charge is not stopping because you do not stop the space new cow. Target. He's coming in, new target on Queen of oh, Pain. He's like, yo, what done. is this about? Three man stun on top. Here comes, oh my god, what? Deep ZZZ drum charges still available. He already popped it. ZSMJ's on the run, ZSMJ's dead. And that's two, three more kills. XTT's on the run. Swarm's gonna get used. ZZZ, thanks for, thanks for the three, 30 gold, free 30 gold. Yeah, man. Those, those Weaver Beetles, they give decent farm they early do. on, especially as a support hero. Man. Uh, there, there is no support in ZZ's vocab right now, because he is just dominating hard. Well, from from here, any... they just I don't see them any need for them to just stop fighting. They just go go for some BKBs. If they get BKBs on Spirit Breaker and Bounty Hunter, it's 100% over. These dire heroes, they're all like... They, they're all entirely reliant on magic damage and disables. There's no backup. I mean, Weaver will do eventually do physical damage, but not for another 20 minutes. If they get BKB, Spirit Breaker's a bit of a waste from one, but Bounty Hunter's at 2.4k gold. How does any lose a team fight? Okay, they have to get this gang off. Like, they literally have to get, get this gang off. Three man small gang. The Impel must be reserved as ZZZ tries to charge his way out, because if that does not happen, there's no other stun to stop that. Oh, you cannot initiate what. Oh, this. And they also, keep in mind, there's relocate online. Like, this is just is not gonna work. Go back to the SMJ. Yeah, he knows. He knows. <laughs> oh, dear. And any, they're gonna start going top lane. They know they've got this big lead. They can't really be fought. They can just start taking some towers, deny Tong Fu of any sort of map control they want to get. Ooh. Spirit Breaker once again getting scouted a bit out of the bottom lane. He knows it's not safe here. He's waiting for a target to charge. He just wants to stay <laughs> bottom until he sees someone on the yeah. map that he can charge. He's may he may be gonna get some vision near the mid lane from these Observer Wards. But uh, not just yet. Joe's gonna walk on through, so he can charge Zoe if he wants to, but he can also charge XDT, but he knows there's gonna be four or five Tongfu heroes near the mid lane. The thing is, oh, well, he's charging somebody right now. What? Are they gonna TP in? YOLO? Oh, here comes Puck. TP, Puck is TP. Zoe, oh, looks like Spike Herbis here's the ultimate from Zoe. Zoe, no sir. Oh, relocate on top of Walk, everybody! Yeah, just melt! That's one track kill. So some she's gonna come to against Will. Will doesn't really care. A second track. Oh, if they track Shanshan, he is dead. Charge is gonna be coming down in 50 more seconds. This is gonna be a very, very long chain if it's necessary. It's not gonna be. Yeah, another kill. If they get a track on XCT, if they have any vision charge, it's gonna be able to eventually track him down as well. No. This is just scary for Tongfu. They can't, they can't, if they get spotted, they get charged. And the thing is with that, Puck just has to TP nearby to get there and then relocate plus one hero will always be at the fight. Yep, silence on top, giving vision of the charge and XT. Time lapse. Ooh, time lapse back. It does not cancel the charge though. Bam, dead vacuum on top. No track kill, but it doesn't really that matter. Kills a kill. Yeah. I mean, we talked about them needing to draft Blaking. We, we talked about needing draft good lanes, but they force out 18 minute GG off the back of Spirit Breaker charging. What a statement from What is Eddie. going on right now? The, Eddie are just going to revamp and spice up the Chinese metagame on their own. They're going to yeah. just disprove everything everyone out there knows about Chinese Dota and do so with a bang. You know. Team says we need some new blood to make sure that Chinese Dota is back alive. We bring in Mushi. We bring in Ice Ice Ice.
Sometimes you just bring in a spear breaker. <laughs> He's from outer space, man. That's all the all the blood you ever need. Who needs Southeast Asian teams when you just have some upcoming Chinese teams like so Southeast Asian players when you have upcoming teams like Team NE here? They tie things up one one. I thought after the game one, I'm like, okay, we'll have a fast two. Then we'll have like an hour break before our next series because the series is three hours apart. Yeah. I can go get some food, go chill out for a bit. But nope, we're gonna have a game three. I'm really excited and happy about it. But it's still gonna be two. 20 minute game so I far. I want to see a spear breaker again. That's all I'm going to say. I it's, it's it, that was amazing. That yeah, was just it was. majestic to watch. This is the first time seeing spear breaker have the impact that we thought a spear hero like spear breaker should yeah. have, right? You're supposed to charge in yolo status and go for any type of kills and he did. He was very well played. Good support from the rest of his uh, any lineup, but back for more a little bit later on. We're going to take a short break and game 3 of any versus Tongfu is coming up next. Don't go anywhere, guys.